Welcome to 5 Minute School and in this video we're going to be talking about cataracts. Now a cataract is due to the gradual thickening of the lens and the loss of its transparency. The exact mechanism of cataracts are unknown however with the aging process nucleosclerosis occurs which is where new cortical layers are added to the lens causing compression and hardening of the central nucleus of the lens. There is also the denature of lens proteins over time. We also have a change in the fibrous content of the lens, changes in epithelial growth and death, and reduced transfer of water and nutrients into the lens are also thought to play a role. Cataracts are associated with diabetes, smoking, steroid use, and eye surgery. Cataracts are quite common as it's expected about 20% of the population will get it and half the cases of blindness throughout the world is due to the formation of cataracts. There is a classification based on the type of cataracts that a person gets. The first type is called a nuclear cataract and this is where we have reduced contrast and colour intensity. There's difficulty recognising faces or car number plates. However, it's possible to maintain a good reading vision for several years. Another type is cortical cataracts, and this type can cause problems with glare when driving and can also cause difficulty reading. There is often discomfort from sunlight during the winter time and that's because the sun is lower on the horizon. Subcapsular cataracts are the third type and they cause difficulty in daytime driving and difficulty reading. There is also visual disturbances even in good lighting. Now. The presentation of cataracts and how it occurs is a gradual, painless decrease in visual acuity. Glare is a common complaint, and that's a disproportionate reaction to brightness which may also appear as a decrease in contrast sensitivity or colour vision. A risk factor for cataracts is myopic vision, which is also known as nearsightedness. That's when you have difficulty seeing distant objects. So nearsightedness is a risk factor for cataracts and it's often noticed that the patients would keep increasing their prescription. One of the signs for a cataracts is the absence of the red reflex. Now a red reflex is this reddish orange reflection from the back of the eye which is often seen when using an ophthalmoscope or a retinoscope. The absence of this red reflection from the back of the eye is a sign of some kind of blockage which could be due to a cataract. There's also a pacification within the lens or pacification in the posterior subcapsular space. The patient will also mention that they have reduced visual acuity and reduced color saturation. And relative afferent pupillary defect, or RAPD, will also be present if the cataract is preventing a significant amount of light entering the eye. This is a condition where the pupils respond differently to light stimuli shown on one eye at a time. The treatment for cataracts, if not causing any major problems, is to leave and monitor for any signs of progression. If it is causing problems, surgical removal and ocular lens implant is the main protocol for treatment. Most patients end up with phacoemulsification, which is a modern cataract surgery method in which the eye's internal lens is emulsified with an ultrasonic handpiece and aspirated from the eye. So most patients end up with this and an IOL implant. I'll include some links for some further information in relation to this in the description below.